Greetings! Great to see you again as we dive into a wonderful taste test. Today we are going to be taking a wee glass, only a small one, of frozen berry wine. Now I made this wine last week, but this batch is from last year, so it's a year old. I've matured it, I've set it aside, I have looked after it and bundled it into perfection in the cellar. So what we need to do now is pour ourselves a glass and do the taste test of this frozen berry wine. I am so excited to try. So let's pour ourselves a glass of this wonderful berry wine. Now, the first thing that comes to mind when I see this wine is just how bright it is. Now this is not a really dark red wine. It's more of a cherry color. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it's crystal clear with a shimmer and a sheen and a glisten to it. It is, wow, that would really impress anyone. It's almost cherryade colour, to be honest. And when you inhale, you get all the berries coming through, from strawberries to raspberries to blackcurrants to redcurrants to the whole range of berries. It's delightful. It wafts down your nose as if you were running through a Pick your own fruit merchants and you're trampling all the berries and just wafting up under your feet, along with that slight hayness to it. I could sniff this all day. Right, taste test time, the most important element. It has a slight tartness to it, and that comes through, and then this strawberry and berry explosion hits your tongue after initial tartness. What I think this is, is awesome. I love this wine in summer for picnics and garden parties, along with cucumber sandwiches, just to take away that slight tartness. It does need food to go with it. It's that tartness which carries through. And as I said, a cucumber sandwich or a barbecue, this would pair really well with either a bland food item like a cucumber sandwich, where there isn't particularly much to it, just enough to blend with the wine or something like port or duck, really fatty foods, this would complement really well. And now here's the tip about how to improve this wine for you. If you step feed and back sweeten with honey, this wine improves tenfold. The slight honey notes come through on the nose. And wow, that is one of the tips I would recommend. So if you are doing step feed or back sweetness wine, use honey. Get that honey in and the fermentables right the way up there to max out your yeast. And then, wow, you're going to be rolling through the hay fields as if you do not have a care in the world under all those pretty white clouds. Definitely a wine to make ready for summer. Use those frozen berries from the supermarket. Make five litres, make ten litres, make five gallons worth. Make as much as you can because. All of your neighbours, all of your guests, all of your neighbourhood will be wanting a bottle of this. You will be the epicentre of all your neighbours. Once you open up a few bottles of this, everyone will get swarming like wasps around a strawberry. So if you haven't seen the recipe yet, I will link it up by here. And you have a good day now as I carry on with my wine.